fit for football. Well, Angela, anybody can do it. What you need is a real expensive gym, a team of trainers, medical practitioners, dietitians, a big crowd, and a pony who wants you dead. Dead in the dirt. I mean, a nasty, blood-sucking leech of a man who will destroy... Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Commercials is not fun compared to having 50,000 low IQ morons in Green Bay or, or Tampa or Liberty City or whatever screaming how they want you dead just because you're playing for the mamas. That's actualizing the self. Wow, that sounds interesting. Tell me about it. I am doing it. I'm fit to. Hey, wait a minute. Are you reading a book over there doing this interview? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. I'm trying to, sweet. You best listen. The comeback is a real deal. B.J. Smith, six-year Pro Bowl MVP, the man responsible for more broken bones than anyone since people had legs. I'm a fiddler crab. You can rip my arms off, and I'll just molt and grow new ones. Where? Right here, right now. Let's get it on. Of course. I, I mean, when? Uh, soon, baby. Uh, real soon. But, and don't call it a comeback. Like the song said, I'll whoop your ass. And this time, I'm doing it my way. Ignorant fools that gave me nothing to work with. The owners, I mean. What owners? Hog and all the action I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Just like Jade, those kids are evil little brats. Listen, are you gonna talk about your freaky friends who dress like a funeral? I thought we were here to talk about BJ. BJ Smith, and I feel alive. I mean, really alive. Ain't nothing more and bigger than holding a man's head in your hands and looking him in the eyes and saying, I can kill you in one second, old man. And he says, I got a wife. And you say, give me all the money in your cash search. What are you talking about? <gasps> BJ, are those muscles real? That's what it is. Because the answer is yes. They ain't implants or nothing. Wow, <laughs> you're enormous. <laughs> nah, this guy's twice my size. But I'm quick, rich, and angry, like a Republican. So, oh, um, I see. Look, I ain't got anything more to say to you, and I can't fall in love with another guest or I'll get sacked. So let's go to the phones. Who's on line one? Hey, Amy, I'm a first time caller. How you doing? I love your show. Sorta. DJ, man, you're awesome. Here's my question. these messages from our sponsors. Don't go away. Are you tired of dad? Dad, no one wants to hear your stupid Vietnam stories. Are you tired of mom? Hi, Angel. Do you want to read a book or go outside? No! Did you know that? 
Pets. The arcade comes to your living room only without the creepy guys offering to show you puppies. Awesome! You must be Coltese's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay. I'll take the balcony, you get the roof across the yard. Es que no me lo creo, man. This is what I call serious business, man. I am not in line, man. Don't worry, I got you covered. Take this, take this, take this. Ricardo Diaz? Diaz's men are getting cut down! Barcel theater piece. In the future, there will be robots. Claude, naturally not. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Amy. However, you have mispronounced my name. It's Madge, which rhymes with badge. Uh, as in duh, and no, as in more than you. Madge, no. Anyway, thank you for having me on the show. It's always a pleasure to discuss my art. Yes, you're so. If you don't mind me saying so myself. Because on the one hand, you're on the funniest show in the whole wide world, just the five of us. And on the other, you do those weird theater dance shows, which aren't funny. Yes, thank you, technical school dropout. I'm sure sitting here talking all day is terribly difficult. Juilliard... I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy, Lance? I love Jimmy. He's so cute, even though he looks so young. I'd rather not talk about my complications working with him. I'm a performer. I express myself any way I can, while I'd never attempt to describe just the five of us as anything other than a worshipless hat. I need to support my serious art. It's like stealing a boombox to do live interpretive dance. If I bring joy to people's hearts doing an interpretive
Don't you ever get in my face again. working class people that there is something enervating about a modern dance performance. That seeing in the future there will be robots will change your life. Quit. This is movement. Watch my hand. Yes, movement. There's a manatee on stage. See? He cannot hear from the wall of Wagner around. Robot makes a snow angel, and we begin to cry. Close curtain. Um, okay. Well, I love just the five of us. Please, 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 enough! Five succeeds while robots starve. Attendance has been poor. There would be riots in the streets with small children giving me flowers and weeping. Here in Vice City, they wouldn't know art unless it came as a tube of beef jerky. They told me, Claude, it can't be done. Vice City is for sun worshippers and Philistines. And I told them, no, I told them, if I'm directing a work of commercial dross down there, I must save my soul with some serious art. But to be honest, Amy, they were <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel ahead of my time. The best artists are ignored. I mean, Surely, any right-minded person would rather spend an evening watching me express the meaning of space as I move delicately across the stage in the dance of desire and denigration than fly. end up in the slammer, I was unfortunate enough to be found with 15 kilos in my spare tire. I was so mad at the auto repair shop that sold me that tire. Thanks to dealing on Furax, the district attorney saw... your head off uh, who is this thick head Tommy Versetti uh, you remember me excuse me I'm a little anxious <sighs> never trust a goddamn horse you do a good job you work for me now I work for money as I said amigo you work for me now I work shut for up me. some Judas has betrayed me he thinks I don't know how much money I should be making but stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him.
This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. On! Ammunition! Protecting your rights! You're back on Gay Chat with me, Amy, and my special guest. Let's go to the phones! Mr. Maganaut, Bruce from Fawn Island. Big fan of the show, Mr. Madge. No big fan. I don't know about just the robot thing. It's, it's weird. Quickly. Is it really 42? No, Did you shop in the kids' aisle? Or did you get on a roller coaster ride? I mean, what's the deal? Did you pay half price for the movie? No comment. Oh, yeah. Next caller. Oh my god, trauma! I meant that. That's my line. I'm supposed to say that. Oh god, this guy is such a dick! Oh, next caller. Oh, who's on the line? I mean, who's on the line? Oh, what number is it? Who, who's on the line? Hello, Claude. This is Morgan. I'm just vacationing down here, having finished my doctoral thesis into images of young boys in post-lapsarian Greece, and the erotic understatement of the fugue in contemporary Baroque. Fascinating stuff. Slow, Granddad. You better keep on running, asshole. Ah. Not be expressed in baggy clothing. It's like a violin parade. Otherwise, why have a love story with a manatee and the lasers? It's very important. You're kind of creepy. You're nothing like you are on the show. You're so funny there, joking with the family and putting out the fire started by the homeless guy and starting group hugs. But in real life, you're just plain creepy. You won't even tell us how old Jimmy is. All you talk about is artsy stuff like that nobody understands because it's complicated and how tight your pants are. That's not true. I also discussed love and passion and amenity and the lasers. You, my dear, could use all three. You, my dear, are a philistine. I'm sorry, but this is one of the most degrading, debasing, horrific, unedifying, opportunistic things I have ever done in my life since that whole Rake's Progress lawnmower commercial. I feel dirty, like I just sat in something. You did. Our last guest was taken violently ill. Yes, well, such is the plight of radio. Rather than grumble like a Morello or a taxi driver about my duties cleaning the back seat, I shall bid you adieu. Okay, thanks, Claude. Next, we have a very important guest who doesn't dance like a weird jerk. We'll be back right after this. You're on K-Chat. Knights of the Road, here's your stallion. The car for freedom. freedom. The car for hot excitement. excitement. The car for a man who is alone against the elements. The pride is back. It's the power of a compact. It's small, but it's so big. Fuel injected. Injected. By Matsu Thunder. On the toll road of life, you have to pay to prove you can. Live the emotion of an individual. The awesome power of Still into one vehicle because after you get struck by lightning. Take both hands off the wheel and touch 
in the shape of the most powerful thing on the planet, me. Degenerates will ruin this great city. In my wonderful book, I tell of the impending disaster about to befall this planet. Nuclear holocaust, plagues of flying rodents. Contribute to the Pastor Richard Salvation Statue Fund. Pick up your telephone. Call now. 1-866-9-SAVE-ME. Hi, and welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're listening to KChat, by City's only commercial talk station. The place where the star is shining conversation with you and me. I'm Amy Schechenhausen. My next guest is a rising star in the world of North mythology. He's appeared in several best-selling infomercials and travels the globe speaking at corporate training camps. His books and audio cassettes are... this place. Many of the Vikings traveled to Scotland, and mind you, anyone who goes there will turn bloodthirsty. You can't understand what the lot are saying. It's all a four, Recklin, a boot, Diné. It's enough to make you want to burn a village to the ground. That's why, in my cassette series, I talk about the importance of communication. You see, Amy, men and women live in different worlds. We use different words. A group of men talk about what they've killed, how to start a fire, who has the best long boat. Women want to talk about keeping the community long or tidy and their feelings. When I'm raiding a village, I don't need to be talking about feelings. It's time for action. So is that all there is to being a Viking? Pillaging? No, lass, no. Pillaging and battle are important, but we admire poetry as well. As long as it's poems about whacking someone in with a double-handed battle axe, what's holding you back, Amy? Chapter three of my book, I talk about listening to the bloodthirsty water spirit. It's really quite important if you want to enter Valhalla. I think I went there last night. Oh, no, that was Malibu, but it's the same sort of thing. Valhalla was that golf club, wasn't it? What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. One thing puzzling me. What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Vance. Vance? Your name's Lance Vance? 
Hey, I got enough of that in school! Lance fans, poor bastard! Where the hell are we headed anyway? Prawn Island! You ever fire one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way though!
I'm not seeing any booty here. <laughs> 